Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today I've got a silly experiment to try, and that is to create a vehicle, like a car, that rides on bombs by spawning the bombs in front of itself like a track that it runs on, but builds as it drives. I didn't script out this intro or anything. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> So of course we got these explosive canisters that are just some of the most fun objects in the game. And also we have from the challenge parts mod, a uh, explosive spawner that when hooked up to a switch, will just keep spawning it. Oh, yeah, there you go. It'll keep spawning in explosives at a constant rate. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we could create a vehicle that rides along a track of explosives, but then lays down the explosives in front of it as it drives. I don't know how possible this is gonna be, but I think it'll be possible in a straight line. Maybe not with turning, though. I figure the journey of creating a vehicle that rides on explosives is going to be an explosive one and uh, something worth making a video about. First up, I'm just going to design the base vehicle, something that's going to go at a consistent speed and is going to be easily controllable. And then we'll worry about adding bombs to it. And then we'll try to figure out how to start it going on the bombs in the first place. That's going to be the tricky part is getting it started, I think. But let's get building. Here we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have our base vehicle all set and uh, nothing much to it. It's super basic. I decided to color it uh, similar colors to the explosives. Now, I do have some suspension on here. That was kind of like an afterthought. I was like, oh, I should probably have suspension just in case, but I have it on its minimum. So the suspension is really only going to come into play if there's any give. Uh, that way, we're not going to be super bouncy. It's just going to keep the wheels in contact. So we're going to be less likely to have any impacts happening if there's any gaps in between the explosives. Up next, we have to figure out how to attach an explosive spawner or explosive spawners to this thing so that we can actually get explosives underneath our wheels here. And that shouldn't be too hard. I left these uh, pipe pieces open here just for this reason. So we can hopefully be able to attach the explosive spawners in a way that's going to work. All right, so I'm gonna do some uh, building and experimenting and we're gonna see what the results end up being. All right, so here we go. At least in a straight line, this should theoretically work. But the problem is getting on top of the explosives in the first place, because if I spawn them in right now, oh boy. Oh boy, and I also realized- Oh! Oh, I didn't save this yet. Dang it! 
<laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Why did I do that without saving? All right, we'll have to rebuild the whole front of this vehicle now. Give me a minute. Okay, here we go. I rebuilt it and I readjusted the bomb spawner. So they're actually hopefully going to spawn the bombs sideways now. There we go. Oh, no, that's not going to work very well either. I think I need to have the bombs facing inwards. Because I'm wondering if I can actually drive myself up onto the bombs. Otherwise, I'm going to have to have a starting platform that's at bomb height that I can drive off of the starting platform. Because, yeah, the issue right now is uh, getting up onto the bombs. So I'm going to I'm gonna do a readjustment here, and we're going to see if it's going to help us at all. Okay, new version has been created. Okay, new version has been created, and um, I think the issue that happened last time was I forgot to turn the button off after spawning in the first set of bombs. So it spawned in a second set of bombs on top of these. And yeah, as you can see, I don't think... I, yeah, it doesn't seem like going up onto the bombs is going to work. And hold on a second here. I need to make a test right now. We, we need to figure out how fast can I go with these bomb spawning rates to create an actual solid line of bombs. And if I'm going at max speed, he oh, that switch is not connected to anything. The switch was on when I hooked it up. Okay, now we can test out the, uh, oh, that's not the great, oh, wow. Yeah, there's no way. There is no way we're walking on that. Look at the space in between. Oh, no, stop, 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 stop. Oh. That was close. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slow my engines down a couple notches. Holy cow, that's too slow. Okay, I'm gonna slow my engine down one notch. Now let's see what the space is like in between these. That might be doable. Here, let's back up. Cause see, our wheels, ooh, our wheels might be fitting in there. But you know what? The next engine speed down, this might be too slow. Look at how slow this is. All right, well, there goes nothing. Actually, oh, no, no, it's too slow. Oh, we got a dilemma. We got quite the dilemma. Actually, unless if I do the bomb spawner to have it spawn the, bo the bombs out sideways, this might make them... Oh, no. Hold on. Come on. It's still, like... It's, there we go. That's not too bad, right? It's going to be the slowest creation, but uh, it looks like I'm going to have to create a starting platform for this thing because we're not going to be able to ride up onto a set of bombs without pushing it out of the way, unfortunately. But first, we have the fun part of cleanup. Yeah, fun. All right, here we go. We got our starting platform. So is this going to work? Ah, no, no, stop. Oh. I gotta remember that it's gonna keep spawning the bombs if we don't turn the button off. Oh, this is bad. You know what? I might just be able to push those off. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Why have I done this? Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. We need to get rid of these bombs and not the fun way either. Why did I think this was gonna be a good idea? Okay. All right. Just spawn one set down. Okay. Oh, why? Why are you doing that? Like, we need a flatter area. We need a super flat area. I should have just spawned in a new map. You know what? I gotta spawn in a flat map for this. Okay, this should be better. So let's see now if we can actually get these bombs in a nice... Oh. Oh, not a good start. Gentle. Okay. All right. All right. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. There we go. You know, I might need to make these a little bit farther away. Okay, and then that no. Oh! <laughs> okay, all right, hold on, hold on. Okay, you know what? I have this thing saved on a lift. I say let's just go for it. 
I'm just gonna press forward and bomb spawn at the same time. And we're just gonna hope for the best. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna spawn in. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. Three, two, one, go. Forgot to hook up the bomb spawners back to the switch. Am I stupid? Am I am I just like act Okay, bombs are now hooked up to the switch, and we're off. Oh, that's terrible. That was just a timing issue. That's all that was, timing. That's all it was. It doesn't mean the vehicle doesn't work right now. It just means that I had bad timing, okay? Okay, better timing, Scrap Man. Come on, better timing. Here we go. It is not good that the bombs get hit by the wheels as we go. We need to extend them further. All right, they've been extended by four blocks. I don't know if it's enough, but let's go ahead and give it a try here. Yes, no! Oh boy. Okay, one not slower. I'm not having hopeful expectations for this one. Well, here goes nothing. Nope, nope, nope! All right, we get a new design here. So now the bombs are going to spawn width-wise instead of length-wise. And I'm hoping that's going to allow this speed to accommodate the spacing between the bombs. I don't know what to expect, but we're going to see. <gasps> oh, man. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so close. It's just there's a, there's a weird inconsistency with the bombs spawning in. Some of them, like, get kicked off to the side, and some of them just land nice and flat. See, that looks good. That looks good. No, it's not good no more. Mm. Mm, why? You were the chosen one. All right, we're trying it again. Now watch carefully. Oh, the transition slowed me down a little bit. Oh, I wanted to see what was happening there, but that's not happening now. Guys, I got an idea. I'm actually gonna put these bomb spawners a single block lower than they are in the hopes that there's gonna be less of a chance of bouncing happening. All right, and go. Oh wait, no, I'm too fast. No, 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 no. Oh, I gotta rebuild that one. All right, now we have the engine slower. So let's see if this one's gonna work at all. Here we go. That's looking better. This is looking. Oh! 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 It's no, no, no! We were doing it. <laughs> that was much better. It's just that the we're not spawning in the center of the bombs, like, or the bombs aren't spawning centered on our wheels, so it feels a little bit weird. But that was by far our best take yet. I think this is showing promise. All right, so I moved these things in by a block. So now we're going to be on the outsides of the bombs instead of the insides. But to counteract that, what I'm also going to do is just add another wheel. Just like this. So we're going to have a lot more wheel contact with the bombs. And we're just going to see if this makes a difference. Look at all that wheel contact. Oh, we're on. We have all... Oh, why? Look at the mess we're making here. All right, I think this is the best version. Like, I think we just gotta keep trying and see how far we can get. All right, well, here goes another take. Let's see how it does. That's not looking like a good start, but it's going. We're going. Oh, we slowed down. Oh, no. There's something that happens and we so, what? When all of our wheels get off the platform, there's like a, a change, a shift that happens in our speed, and that messes up the spawn rate. All right, we're going for it again. We gotta watch really careful, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why is this happening? Just be consistent. Be consistent, Scrap Mechanic. Physics is math. Do the equations and do them right. Come on, Bomb Walker. You can do it. See, the problem is the way that they bounce sometimes. This 
is good. This is good. No, no, see, we slowed down there. Okay. Oh, we are much slower. I'm doing it manually now. I'm pressing it on and off. Oh, it's working. Yes, I just have to do it manually so that the speeds don't get messed up. How are we looking? Oh, yeah. Oh, no! That just destroys every... There's not a trace left of our car that time. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, so that's the issue, is once our wheels get onto the bombs, the bombs move around underneath our wheels, which changes our speed. So we can't just keep the constant rate of bombs flowing at that, at that speed. Okay, as long as we watch the space... I should be able to do this. All right, off, on, 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 uh. Oh boy. Oh, they're getting more spaced out as my wheels mess them all up. Oh, we fell off, but we were on the track. Look at this. We haven't exploded this time. Can we like get on? No, no, oh no, this is a bad idea. This is a terrible idea. This is not good. It is, okay. All right. All right, I think I'm starting to get a hang of the method though. So let's see if we can break that record. Oh, that was a terrible start. Good so far. Oh boy, we're slowing down. Oh man, the ones on one side are getting spaced out differently. Ah, no. Than the ones on the other side. That's the big issue right there is the spacing. What did we just do? We just bounced like a trampoline. That was amazing. So there's only one final thing I can think to try, and that is just one more block closer to the ground so that they're essentially going to spawn directly onto the ground. I just, I don't know if this is going to work at all, though. All right, here we go. Is that more consistent? That seems a little bit more consistent, actually. This is doing well. This is doing well. Oh, no. No, no, no. Go, 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 go. Go! Stay on the bombs! Ah, oh, man. It's like on quicksand almost. Like, they're, they're, they're basically little particles and we just keep pushing them off to the side because they don't have a good grip onto the ground, unfortunately. So I'm curious down in the comments below, uh, did, did this go better or worse than you were expecting when I started the video? I, I really don't know. Like, we were on a lot of bombs. We were going straight. We definitely aren't gonna get to turning anywhere, but I didn't really expect that to be a thing anyway. So, uh, leave some feedback down in the comments on, uh, if this broke your expectations or if this went just about exactly as expected for you. And if you have any other ideas of crazy stuff you'd like to see in a scrap mechanic like this, let me know. If you want to see more scrap mechanic, definitely check out this playlist right here. There's bound to be some other crazy ideas that you're going to enjoy that you may have missed on the history of the channel. I hope I've earned your subscription. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.